Welcome to Webcomics, the wonderful online medium of comics loved the world over by readers who don't like paying for content and artists who don't like updating. Are you a creator with an idea in your head that you don't know how to get out into the world? Are you looking for a medium with all the effort of animation but none of the appeal? All the time consumption of writing a book with none of the profit? Do you kind of know how to code a website? Then Webcomics might be right for you! You might be a writer who doesn't understand why your artist friends walk away when you tell them about your really cool idea for a comic. Someone has to draw this thing, and it looks like you're gonna have to hire a professional to help you out. At first they'll be working for exposure, but don't worry, you'll be able to cover their fees once you start making all that sweet, sweet webcomic money. Your comic can be about anything. What's that? You don't have a story you want to tell, but you still want to torture yourself? That's perfectly fine. You don't need a script or even a basic plot outline to start your comic. In fact, the less planned out your webcomic is, the better it will be. Why not make a comic poking fun at video games or RPGs? There's a lot of untread ground there. Here we are, the castle of the fiendus apostrophica. Hark, a save point. How funny it is that I point that out in universe. I hope we aren't killed by our comic comically villainous teammate. Too much room for creative thinking and character development? How about a comic where people just talk about playing video games? I like this game. <sighs> I don't like this game. I'm the upbeat naive one. I'm the straight-laced cynical one. I am here also and I have boobs! Too formulaic? How about some gagaday strip comics, like the ones you read in the newspaper? If that update deadline's closing in and you're still at a loss with this week's strip, just fill your fourth panel with a wacky face or a non sequitur. Those are jokes! Oh, you don't want any jokes, you say. I get it, you're one of those artsy types that uses a brooding anime girl as your avatar. In that case, why not make your comics avant-garde versions of your own poems? Ruined, soiled forever on my chest. I mixed my whites with the darks. My favorite shirt and my heart both on the floor. Please support my Patreon. Are you tired of being funny but still feel like wasting your own time? Why not draw hourly comics? And don't forget the lesbians. Every webcomic needs lesbians. Now that you know what your comic's about, it's time to draw it. Don't worry about how bad your first page looks because you'll end up hating it for years no matter what you do. Over time, your comic's artwork will naturally grow and improve. This is called art evolution. Of course, this is optional. If you don't want to waste all that time improving yourself, then why not just draw one set of stock images and use them forever? You know, like a sprite comic. If you refuse to wait for your art to evolve naturally, just keep remaking the first four pages of your comic over and over again for years until you finally realize your parents were right. You know you can draw a pretty picture, which is great because that's all there is to comics, panel composition, typesetting, general flow, all optional. If you don't want to deal with these unexpected elements, just give up and make a counterintuitive comic with one panel updates. People will ask you if you're trying to be homestuck. You are. Whew. That drawing sure took a lot of hard work, didn't it? Now, are you ready to draw that same character again several times a week for the next six to ten years of your life while you slowly lose all your free time and your friends and family grow further and further away from you? Hang on now, are you thinking of giving up? That's great! An important part of making your webcomic is not making your webcomic. These extended periods of laziness are called a hiatus. Hiatuses typically last between two months and forever. If your readers are getting impatient waiting for a new update, post fan art and guest comics. This is considered good form, especially when you have less than 50 pages. And nothing makes a better follow-up to page three than an unfinished rough sketch of page two. Consistent update schedules are for chumps. Make sure to keep your readers on their toes by switching up which day you update at least twice per month. Better yet, use your updates to post other artwork you are drawing. That way your readers know you had the time to work on something, but not the focus to do your goddamn job. Is the stress of a constant update schedule just too much? Why be honest with your readers and actually gain their sympathy by telling them how overwhelmed you are? Just string them along on a false chain of it'll be out soon posts for months before disappearing altogether and changing your name to avoid the shame. Are you having trouble finding the time to work on your webcomic with that pesky day job? Why not kickstart your webcomic for over $80,000 so you don't need to work and then stop after less than 10 pages? If your followers want more content, then they can always buy the merchandise for your comic that doesn't exist. Pew, 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 pew. Make sure you never take criticism. Storytellers and artists improve by ignoring any and all critique. After all, you've been working on this story since eighth grade. If anyone knows how great it is, it's you. Be sure to treat all criticism as a personal insult. If you've got social media presence or an avatar, then you'll need a brand for yourself. Something recognizable, like a hat. One specific hat. This hat. That's the webcomic artist hat. Don't forget your cast page. Cast pages are a great way to introduce readers to the first five characters in your comic before you get bored and can't be bothered to draw the rest of them. Now that you have all the elements of your webcomic, you need a place to host it. Why spend $30 a year to make your own site when you can host it on DeviantArt, Topastic, or Tumblr? The slow load times, inefficient archiving systems, and general aesthetic mismatch will do your comic proud. And nothing beats that feeling of binge reading through all of one of your favorite comics only to realize at the last second that every page had rollover text or a caption that you missed. And if you're lucky, you'll catch up just in time to discover that the artist abandoned this project years ago and literally stopped drawing it in the hallway to the final boss! Ugh. 11 years later and I'm still mad. What's this guy been up to anyway? What? Oh, look at that. He was the art director on Steven Universe. Y you know what? Good for him. It it's really good to see someone putting in the time and actually making their way in the industry today and finish your fucking webcomic!
Thank you guys so much for watching. This is the final Welcome To video I'll be doing, except for some more comment videos on the side. Thank you for all your support over the years. If you like my stuff, I hope you'll stick around for the other things we do on this channel, like Anime Campaign, which you can watch over here, and the So This Is Basically videos, which if you like Welcome To, those are essentially just Welcome To's for TV shows and games and anime, and they're a lot faster to make, and I actually enjoy making them. Also, it feels appropriate to mention that on January 10th, I will be starting my own webcomic, Cornucopia, or Nuko for short. If you like the stuff I've made in the past, you might enjoy this. The first chapter is about a ninja who tries to steal a treasure from a castle while disguised as a guard, but things get difficult for him when he's partnered up with the investigator who is intent 